Hey guys and welcome back to another new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. I'm Crossing Channel and in today's video I'm going to be looking at some new small details for Animal Crossing New Horizons that have emerged in some of the latest trailers for the game. So let's check some of these out right now. First of all we can see this little construction sign item and it actually has a little drawing of Resetti on it which I thought was a really cute callback to him. Obviously Resetti tends to be in those sorts of jobs in the previous games, he's like a very construction themed character so it's good to see him referenced. We can see here that the Korok mask and also the bunny hood, but to me more interestingly the Korok mask has returned from previous games. I think it's good to see it make a comeback. It's a pretty iconic item in Animal Crossing and of course in Zelda. We have this giant new Godzilla item that you can... <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. I'm pretty sure there was a similar item to this in Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer, which actually may have came to New Leaf when Welcome Amiibo came out but I do not recall it being this massive. This is a really massive item that is incredibly tall and takes up quite a lot of space it seems. So if you want to have a giant monster, a Godzilla on your island, that's something that you can do in this game. Next we can see that you can actually make circular pathways, which I think is really cool. I'm sure people do some nice stuff with this and maybe make like little town plazas or something. I don't know, I'm just happy to see that you can do more stuff with the pathways. It's going to be good. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Next we can see you can actually wear a towel outfit in this game, which I find kind of funny. It's interesting because a lot of people made hot springs and spas in Animal Crossing New Leaf and they always had to use custom patterns and stuff for like towel outfits. But now you can actually have your own in the game, so that's pretty cool. We have to talk about the grave. I know people saw this in a previous trailer and they've been talking about it ever since and they're like, is this Tortimer's grave? Well, it's basically just a furniture item as you can see here. It can be whatever grave you want it to be. In this case, they've chosen to make it a gnome's grave, which I, I don't know how to feel about that. It's great though, at the same time, <laughs> it's really inventive and I like what they've done, but yeah, this gnome is clearly going through a hard time, so yeah, poor gnome. Moving on, we can see that the animals actually do some sweeping up around their house just after they've moved into the island, which is such a nice little piece of uh, little attention to detail, basically. You can see that Drake has all his moving boxes here, so he's just sweeping up a little bit. For your birthday party, you can see that the villagers who come to your birthday party actually dress up really fancily for the party. We can see here Bob is even wearing his own tuxedo, which I think he looks so snazzy in, and just everyone looks really good for the party. Also, if you notice on the actual table for the party, you can see that there are enough plates there for everyone to have a nice meal, which I think is very cute and nice. And you can also notice a bunch of other party-related goodies there, and your cake in the middle, of course. So yeah, everyone can have a nice sli slice of cake. It'd be interesting to see if they actually do get slices of cakes and the walk around with them. I'm hoping that is the case. Next, we can see that Carrie here is actually using a magnifying glass, which I thought was kind of interesting because I don't think I've actually seen any character do this so far in the game. We've seen them hold a lot of different things, but I don't recall seeing this one ever before, so I thought it was worth noting. In the winter time, we can see that your residents will actually start to wear beanies and just warmer outfits in general, which I think is really cool. I'm a big beanie fan in real life, so I would definitely be wearing one of these on my island when things start to get a bit snowy. They do look very stylish in these outfits. Finally, and this might be one of the coolest bits of this video, I think, we can see the player playing a tambourine. This is cool because we have actually seen the player character also play with an ocarina before. So now we can see that they can also play with a tambourine. I really like the interactivity here and the ability to sort of do more with your character and pick up some things and, you know, make a noise with them. I'm sure it won't get irritating or anything like that. It's just, I don't know, it's cool. I'm happy to see it. So yeah, it was fun to go over all of these small details. I, think, I feel like there was a lot of cool things to look at from the past few trailers alone. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to help support the channel, click the join button down below the video to become a member of the Bob's Gang. You can get a bunch of really cool perks for doing so, and it helps me out a whole bunch too. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. You can subscribe for even more Animal Crossing content, and if you'd like to, you can also check me out on Instagram and Twitter. I even have a Twitch account and my own Discord server. All of those links are in the video description if you want to check them out. Once again, I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate your support, and I'll catch you in the next one.